Are you tired of running Facebook ads with really high CPMs and unprofitable campaigns all day long? iOS 14 update has even made tracking conversions on Facebook pretty difficult. Top of the Facebook business manager bans and profiles being restricted. Well, this is the exact reason why you should be branching out to other social media platforms to run digital marketing campaigns for your e-commerce store. Pretty sure you've heard of Pinterest, a female predominant social media platform with 478 million monthly active users. And sadly, it's still one of those social media platforms which is highly undermined and overlooked by e-commerce store owners. By not running Pinterest ads, you're leaving lots of money on the table for your specific e-commerce store. Good day guys, it's Lack here and in this video, we'll be going over the step-by-step -step process on how to set up your Pinterest ads for your e-commerce store and how to run them profitably. By the end of this video, you'll have a Pinterest ads campaign live and ready to go. Also, if you guys get this video to over 100 likes, I'll go ahead and release a special tutorial on how to run YouTube ads for your very own e-commerce store. So let's get straight into the creation of these ads. As you guys can see now, we are currently on the homepage for Pinterest ads. The URL for this link is ads.pinterest.com. So the first thing we'll be doing is actually going ahead and creating a business manager account for our Pinterest ads. So for us to do that, you go onto this link first, ads.pinterest.com, click on get started. So you guys can see I've gone ahead and added my details. Now you click on create account. Perfect. So as you guys can see over here, we are currently on page of our business manager. So what we'll be doing, we'll go ahead and create a profile. So I'll name this test profile. Lactube. So for you guys, put down your business name over here and put down your website. So in my case, I'll put down the website, which I'll be creating this as for. So let's just say the baby alley.com country. If you're in based in Australia or whatever country you're based in, make sure to put that in here and whatever language you want to think. So my, let's just put down random products. Click on next. Describe your business, Shopify, Shopify. And make sure to click, yes, I'm interested in advertising. Now over here, put down your name, full name, country code, phone number, and then click on, no, I don't work for an agency because we are working as individual things. So anyways, this is basically, if you want to get some help from a Pinterest ads, experts so i would recommend you guys do this if you are really serious about pinterest ads the guys one thing i've noticed with the pinterest ads experts is the fact like they're quite a lot, lot more knowledgeable and they actually help you i've had great relationship with, with my account manager she has been able to you know help me scale my business quite a bit so i'll leave this part to you it's completely optional but i would recommend it for you guys as you guys can see now now we're on the home page for our Pinterest business app. This is the first thing you'll see. First thing you need to do is actually go ahead and install the Pinterest app on your Shopify store. This will allow us to sync Pinterest pixel on our website, which would then allow us to track all the conversion and start running conversion campaigns. First to do that, you go into your Shopify store, click on apps, click on customize your store. and then type in Pinterest. Then you can go ahead and download the very first app. As you can see, we have gone ahead and downloaded the Pinterest app onto our Shopify store. Now we'll go ahead and actually link our Pinterest business hub and our Pinterest ads account to our Shopify store. So for us to do that, you click on Pinterest connect and then you click on give access. So automatically, as you guys can see, the Pinterest ads account has been linked directly onto my Shopify store quite easily. You click on accept. As you guys can see, this is the business hub or business manager we had just created and an ad account has automatically been created as well as a Pinterest tag for our Shopify store. So as you guys can see, you know, setting up your Pinterest tag or your, basically the Pinterest pixel to track all our conversion is so easy. You just need to download this application. No more manual coding, which you need to do back in the days. Now, only thing which you need to do now is actually go ahead and click on update billing and add in your credit card or your debit card over here and fill out all your business details and personal details. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for myself, for my own account. 
if you don't do that you won't be able to you know continue and publish your ad so i would recommend you guys to have it done straight away so after you go ahead and put in your billing details into your pinterest ads manager account you're also awarded with 100 us dollars worth of ads credit so in my case i have 130 dollars which is australian dollars so that's quite good as a beginner so this is the money which basically pinterest is giving you for free to absolutely test your product for zero dollars so if you get any results and if you don't even if you don't get any results that basically means you know even you don't lose any money so that's another great perk of pinterest ads but after you update your billing detail you go into your pinterest business manager and you refresh so as you can see you automatically see that this thing has been updated automatically so now what you're going to do is basically go into create now we'll actually initiate the process of creating our very first pinterest ads campaign so the first thing you need to do even before creating a campaign you need to actually go ahead and create a pin pin is basically your creative which is what is which is what you use to advertise using your ads so this is basically quite a crucial step we need to create something which is highly engaging so now i'll show you guys how to create your very own pins firstly we need to upload the picture or image so what i've done is to make this process easier and this tutorial a lot quicker i've gone ahead and created these two types of pins which i'm going to upload and i'm going to explain it to you guys as well so as you can see this is a baby carrier which will be advertising as a baby carrier which will be advertising over here i'm going to type in the title so i've already typed in this and i'm going to just copy paste it here And then cool after you create your pin you come over here and you create a board this is basically you know where you this is a board where you combine all of your ads and all of your pins so I'm gonna name this one baby products or baby essentials and then click on create and you're gonna click on publish so basically the pin we just created is gonna get directly get published onto this board we just created now So as you guys can see, we've gone ahead and created our very first pin and now you can click on see your pin. And as you guys can see, you know, this is the actual pin itself. This is a informative pin about the product which we are selling, which is a baby carrier. It talks about all the four different, you know, different benefits and all the description of, you know, what it actually does. So now we'll go ahead and create a second pin. This time it's going to be a video pin. So that you know i like to have multiple types of ads or multiple types of pins which i advertise to actually test them and see which one performs the best so to create the variances i've gone ahead and create the second pin and i'm gonna just put in all the information which i got so let's just perfect and again, we'll save it to the baby essentials board. And as you guys can see, this is the actual pin itself. So as you guys can see, our second pin has also been created. So you click on see your pin, and this is the pin we just created. One tip I have for you guys is the fact, you know, when you're creating a Pinterest ads, or you, when you're creating creative for your Pinterest, make sure to have text on the top and the bottom. These are the type of creatives which actually do fairly well on Pinterest, the ones with, you know, video or some sort of an image, and then overlaying text on the top or bottom. So this is basically what I've seen from all the thousands of dollars I've spent, you know, with my Pinterest ads. So yeah, that's something which I would recommend to you guys. So as you guys can see, this is the board we just created. Now we'll actually go ahead and start running ads for these. If you guys have found this video tutorial useful so far, make sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. So the first thing we need to do is click on create, create an ad. Over here, we're gonna select a pin. So we're gonna go through all our pins. So let's just use the photo ad and click next. As you guys can see, you know, this is quite a basic version of this. So make sure to click on switch to campaign creation. This is more, more of an advanced version for all of us digital marketers. And this is the one I would recommend to you guys. So as you guys can see, this looks quite similar to other advertising platforms. So for us, our focus is to get purchases and get sales. So we'll be creating a conversion campaign. So as you guys can see, you know, your very first conversion campaign, 
it will come up with this error saying that you know you need to increase your conversion events basically means is the fact you know your pixel is not warmed up enough yet it hasn't had any sort of you know conversions come through or tracked so what i would recommend you is actually go ahead and create a test conversion or a test sale onto your shopify store it's the exact strategy which my pinterest business partner explained to me and this is what i do so go ahead onto your shopify store and create a, a test sale after you do that you know it will automatically track that conversion and this option will pop up so we'll actually go ahead and create this test setup and create our targeting onto a consideration campaign first thing we're going to do is actually name the campaign so i like to name my campaigns in a fixed standard so i'll start off with the date for today 06.08 gold and the product name so you click on active campaign budget time you put daily i just like to start off with an overall budget of 50 dollars at least so 50 to 100 dollars per campaign minimum wouldn't tell you guys to go less than 50 because that way it doesn't let pinterest ads to optimize itself now this is the ad group name over here we're going to keep it as broad targeting so this is basically now we're going to start this is quite similar to you know facebook ads now we're going to be selecting our ad group so over here, this is basically we target the certain types of people. So firstly, you need to, our goal is to find, you know, new customers. So that's the one, you know, who we'll be looking for. We will be using choosing your own because we'll be looking for certain type of people. And this is a cold, broad campaign. So we're looking for, this is basically retargeting. You can use other types of targeting strategies to do a retargeting campaigns or like, you know, lookalike audiences, but that's completely separate. This is a cold outreach campaign. So you click on choose your own. Now this is a quite a crucial part. So this is actually start targeting people. So as you can see, our product is a baby product. So we'll start looking for baby. As you can see, there's all these different types of interests we can target. The exact strategy when it comes to, you know, targeting on Pinterest ads is the fact like I like to do interest stacking. This is basically we choose the relevant interest which you know relates to a product and we stack them and to our ad group. So in this case, it would let's start off with parenting as baby gear baby toys baby care tips baby tips so as you can see this is all the interests so i'm going to select all the baby ones and as you guys can see over here this is basically the monthly audience size this is something which we can obviously you know which will be changed later so go ahead and pick gender so when it comes to you know graphics especially with gender you know if you're selling a beauty product or something you know which is highly relevant to a female i would recommend you know testing female only but in this case because it's a baby product both dad and moms can buy it for their sons or for their children i would you know keep it as all genders even though it's usually moms who make majority of the purchases for their babies and pinterest being a female predominant platform it will be female who would be buying more of my products but then in this case i would still test out with both of them and when i start getting my results then i'll make changes so let's start off with all genders when it comes to age i would keep it quite specific with age i like keeping it as at all ages because of this very cold campaign is we're keeping our targeting very broad and very cold that you know comes to location i like to pick specific countries so when i'm starting off i like to the t4 countries which is united kingdom Australia, US, and then Canada. As you guys can see, the number of audience automatically went up. Cool. So as you guys can see, we've selected the T4 countries. When it comes to languages, I like to select English only because our ad and our creative and our website is in English. So I would recommend keep it as English. When it comes to devices, make sure to keep it as all devices ad platform to keep it as all as recommended campaign budget you don't touch it we already select that at the very first campaign say so we keep it as 50 dollars and this is quite an important step now so optimization and delivery many of different you know many of the different gurus will tell you to actually go ahead and custom bid but with my bidding is the best fit for you that way you know pinterest uses their algorithm to determine the best bid cap for your product and they use that to, you know bring in sales so i would keep it as automatic when you're starting off you get into custom down the line when you're creating lookalike audiences and when you're trying to focus to get to get a certain price for 
your product so um i'll keep it as automatic for now and then when it comes to all pins this is not where we actually go ahead and create our ad pins that's can see you know, the ads which we created are looking quite good now before we actually go ahead and you know, publish this campaign, I'm gonna just double check everything, bright targeting. So let's just start with all genders, all ages. I like to double check my work before I publish it. So English, all devices, placements, daily budget, three dollars, automatic and the actual ads. And finally you click on publish after you complete all your testing. So you might come up with this issue over here. So you need to actually go ahead and fill out these details. So I'm just going to do that for myself. So after you actually go ahead and finalize your campaign, this is basically where your campaign will show after it goes through testing. So it usually takes 24 to 48 hours when you're creating a brand new campaign on a fresh ad account. So make sure to you know, keep that much time as a buffer. That's when your thing will come up. Click on ads and then you go on to reporting. This is basically where you'll be seeing the actual campaigns when they're live. You click on ad groups. This is, this is, this is basically where all the information start, will start coming up. But for now, let's go into your profile. And as you guys can see, these are the two pins we created during your ad process. Another tip for you guys, make sure to actually update all your profile pictures over here and make sure, you know, you create at least 10 to 15 pins before you actually start running ads so that, you know, so that your Pinterest account looks more legitimate and it looks like, you know, it's an old account. You should, you wouldn't want to have, you know, only two pins and the ones which you're advertising. It doesn't help with social proof. So have multiple pins, make sure to have a description with your website link and actually have a profile picture and background. So you guys need to set this up, you know, to make it look like a proper legitimate brand before you actually you know um, start actually advertising so this is something which i didn't show in this video but this is quite easy and self-explanatory so make sure to do that but yeah this that was my exact pinterest ad strategy if you guys found this video useful make sure to hit that like button for the youtube algorithm and for us to grow this youtube channel so make sure to check out my detailed tutorials on tiktok ads as well as google ads on how to run them profitably and expand your digital marketing capabilities leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you want me to make videos on any certain topics make sure to hit the subscribe button for more such content on personal finance entrepreneurship and investing until then take care and i will see you in the next one